Let's get this group therapy session started, shall we? If you say so, Doc. We have a new member today, so let's do the customary introductions. I am Dr. Hannibal Lecter, a.k.a. Hannibal the Cannibal. Uh, I'm Jason Voorhees of Camp Crystal Lake. I'm Freddy Krueger from your worst nightmares. I'm Michael Myers from Haddonfield. I enjoy taking quiet walks at night. Very nice. Would our newest member care to introduce himself? I am the Pope of Hell, the leader of the Cenobites, the engineer of pain. Right. We'll call you Pinhead. Uh, they look more like nails to me, Doc. Such insolence! Your suffering will be legendary, even in hell. Dr. Lecter, I'm not comfortable around this guy. He's given off some seriously hostile vibes. You're not comfortable around anyone, m and &M. I know those are my initials, but I wish you wouldn't call me that. Now, Frederick, we've been over this before. Michael has been in and out of institutions since 1963. Social situations make me anxious is all. Yeah, I get that. Some people even think I'm dumb. That's because you're a big, dumb idiot who hides behind a mask. Hey, what's wrong with masks? Yeah, I like my mask, and if a hockey game breaks out, I'm ready. Frederick, we've been over this before. If someone wants to wear a mask, that's their business. Says the guy with the muzzle. You bite one guard's face off, and suddenly you can't be trusted. So, new guy, what's your take on headgear? I put rat-filled cages on the heads of the tormented. Hehe, <laughs> that would tickle. Right. Now that everyone's been properly introduced, we can get started. Where did we leave off last time? We were talking about the best ways to kill teenagers. Don't get me started. Can't go wrong with the trusty old machete. For my victims, death is only a beginning of an eternity of torments. Gentlemen, it's not a contest, and it's not where we left off. Oh, come on, Doc. Aren't you feeling hungry today? Or are you still on a diet? That's a low blow. I believe we were talking about ways of moving forward into the next phase of our lives. You mean besides killing teenagers? Mama always said there was a good future in killing teenagers. And it's fun, too. But surely there's more to life than killing and eating people, is there not? Whoa, who said anything about eating people? Yeah, that's kind of your thing, Doc. I'm more of a soul eater. Ah, finally someone talks sense. I'm talking about making ourselves better people. Michael, I understand you're taking up a new hobby. What, knife throwing? That's just something I do on the side for fun. Hey, me too. No, not knife-throwing. Wasn't it a more artistic endeavor? Oh, you mean needlepoint. Wait, you do needlepoint? I find it very relaxing. You should give it a try. I'm intrigued by this needlepoint. Can you show me how it's done? Oh, sure. We'll get you set up with some supplies at my store. You have a store? Of course I do, silly Billy. Haven't you heard of Michaels? I know it goes against our code, but I just might kill him anyway. Jason, haven't you taken up a new hobby as well? Yeah, but I'm kind of embarrassed about it. There is no torment worse than which we give ourselves. Come on, Jason. If I can talk about my needlepoint, you can talk about whatever dumb thing it is you do. All right. For someone who spends a lot of time at summer camp, I haven't learned very much about nature. That might be because you're a big dumb idiot. Frederick, let's be more supportive now, shall we? What is it you're learning about, Jason? Butterflies. <laughs> Sorry, go on. I think I understand. Jason is a budding lepidopterist. I'm a what? I thought you said no name-calling. Lepidoptery is the study of butterflies. Isn't that what you're doing, Jason? Well, mostly I catch them and kill them and pin them to the wall because they look pretty. Wait, are we still talking about killing teenagers? 
What's this about pins again? And so do you enjoy killing these butterflies, Jason? Sealing them up in a jar with a swab of cotton soaked in alcohol, watching slowly as they die from the fumes. Oh, is that how you're supposed to do it? How have you been doing it? Yeah, mostly I just squish them with my boot. Some of them are pretty juicy. These hobbies are boring. Well, Frederick, why don't you share your supposedly more interesting hobbies with the rest of the group? Yeah, what is it you like to do when you're not terrorizing Elm Street? Everyone knows I'm a world-famous rapper. Yeah, I thought you were more of an unrapper. Wait a minute. You've recorded rap songs? Yeah, I've collabed with some of the biggest guys in the business. Anyone we know? The Fat Boys. Well, they are pretty big. Anybody else we know? Someone scary like us? How about the Fresh Prince? Ooh, Will Smith. He is scary. At least if you're uh, making jokes about his wife. He's slappy, but I'm slashy. So even Frederick has a hobby which has nothing to do with killing teenagers. Presumably. Do you have a hobby, Dr. Lecter? I enjoy having friends over for dinner. Oh, so you like to cook, right? That's exactly what I meant. I enjoy cooking. Me too. I make s'mores on the campfire. And I prefer liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> so, Pinhead, what's your hobby? Yeah, how does a centipede unwind after a long day? I tear souls apart. That's your day job. What do you do for fun? Tearing souls apart is fun. The man knows what he likes. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. But surely there's something more than just tearing souls apart all day. I also betray innocents and send them to their eternal doom. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that's not all that different from tearing souls apart. It's quite different. What I think Michael's trying to say is, do you have any interests unrelated to your day-to-day -day job? You know, like gardening? Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, yes, I have it. What's that? Body piercing. If that counts as a hobby, then I'm a manicurist. We'll call that good enough. We've made some excellent progress today. We have? What's the point of these sessions anyway? I still say we need to talk more about killing teenagers. Next time, we'll dig a bit more deeply into our pasts. Say, talking about our families. Ooh, I've got some good stories about my mom. And I could talk about my sister. Excellent. We'll save the family talk for next time. Did someone say family? Here's Johnny. Oh, brother. Don't forget to subscribe and then watch the video over again or I'll tear your soul apart.